Hey guys, it's Wyatt from Retro Nerd, and I'm back with another video. I know it's been three weeks, but I'm going to be on my schedule for the next few weeks, posting two videos every weekend. Um, or if uh, I have time on the weeks, which may not It's um, July 22nd. 2018 it's almost time for classic game fest next weekend next friday saturday and uh actually saturday and sunday never mind um but that's not what i'm here well it's what i'm partially here to talk to you about this is going to be part review part hype for classic game fest so let's start off with classic game fest um I've gone to many more retro conventions lately. Um, I have two besides Classic Game Fest that I'm going to or may be at. That some popular YouTubers will be at. Um, if you guys watch, I'm going to Retro Palooza and um, Pack South. And, uh, yeah, I will be at both of those at their respective times. Uh, <clears throat> I, uh, I will be going to, I will not be filming. I may film the con. I don't know. I mean, for YouTube. I'm going to film it for my parents, but I don't know about, like, Like for YouTube, I don't know. I think yeah, I don't know. Um, Retro Palooza. Many people that I watch are going there, um, including Chad Tronic, Andre the Black Nerd, um, The Completionist is going there, and um, also. Yeah. Hold on, I'm gonna see who actually is going. Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Sorry, should I Taking me to a link so that takes forever. Okay, here we go. Oh, here they are. Alex C and D, uh, or Captain Nintendo Kid, as or Captain Nintendo Dude, I think. Arlo, um, Boogie two nine eight eight. Who I don't know. The eight bit guy. Heard of him. Don't watch his channel personally. Um, it's in Arlington, which is outside of Dallas. And so Retro Palooza is a very like Um, it's like a very in I'm sorry guys, I'm just getting distracted. I'm very sorry about that. Um, Retro Palooza is a very um cool one, even though I've never been to it. I um I watched an Andre video where he mentioned it. It's the Disney Afternoon video where he plays all those retro Disney Afternoon games on the Xbox One. He managed to retro Palooza. That was back in 2017. He's coming back to 2018 as a spokesperson. Um, but yeah. Uh, sorry I keep playing with my phone. This looks a little weird. Um, 
but yeah. But Classic Game Fest is one of the biggest, largest ones. My friend Ty is coming in. Uh, he worked at Game Over Video Games. He's one of my bestest friends. Well, one of my best friends. And uh, I'm really excited because I haven't seen him in a long time. And uh, yeah. He's... But anyway, um, yeah, Classic Game Fest next weekend. Um, just gotta get through one more week of film camp. And yeah, I've been doing film camp for five, six weeks. I'm not making a professional film, no. Um, I'm not making a low budget film. I'm making a new film every week. So it's like two days to film or one. Some days you have one day to film. Some days you have two days to film. <laughs> People I like the most is when you have a quarter or half to film. Because if you don't have any, some other kids are going to be like, oh my gosh. And then, if you have a full day, and people who are finished, and they did have the editing software ready to edit the film, you just basically sit there waiting. And it's like, give them a little time, not too much time, not too little time. Give them enough time. So that's why I think half or a quarter of like a day. But anyway, yeah, classic game fest coming up. I'm sorry about that yawn, guys. But here's the second part of my game. Um, Fortnite Battle Royale. I'm probably doing a review for it. Get ready. Season 5. I have it. If some of you people don't know, I have Season 5. Oh, by the way, today will be a great day because I will be doing Fortnite gameplay today, which be nice. So as you can see, I got everything up in here. I'm a level, I'm at level 15. Um, I'm on tier 40. We just got the dirt. Yeah. I got the ultimate season pass, which comes with like 20 more ones. I I got the conquest glider, which is not my favorite glider, but I well, it is my favorite glider, well, I guess. For now, my my it's the favorite glider I own. My favorite glider would have to go to um, Splashdown, the one for the um, uh, Baywatch looking girl, mm -hmm. or the just that. What's my favorite costume from you may be asking? Well, I like the Ragnarok costume, but I also like Drift and um, that line. So, but anyway, guys, my review of Fortnite would be that I've been playing since season three, and um, yeah, I know a little late, but you guys can. I miss the pumpkin rocket launchers. I miss those. Those were my favorite. I could choose one weapon to come back and be those. Either those or the the sound bombs. I heard they were removing stink bombs soon. I heard that from the Fortnite from the Fortnite's webpage. They said they were removing 
Thank God he's soon. It's like those are actually really good weapons. I use those more than I use actual grenades. And they get me more kills than actual grenades. I actually got I'm not trying to sound like a new, but grenades are actually really hard to get a kill on. I got like my fifth kill or elimination with a grenade and that got me points because it was like something like a challenge I could have done. But anyway guys, uh Fortnite, I'm gonna give it a ten out of ten because it's not my new favorite game. Very addictive. T later today look forward to my Fortnite gameplay. Um yeah. So I will see you guys next time. Peace, love, be kind to each other.